Hi, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. I'm here with Ash, who's behind the camera, and we're just doing the second to last final check on a buy to sell. We was gonna do a couple of checks, because um, not so much for snagging, but this is this property has been sold. We are 12 days away from it being exchanged and completed. It's gonna be simultaneous exchange and completion. We're currently using um, some of it for uh, storage, but also we're just double checking things like the gas, the electricity, and making sure we haven't left anything here, um, and making sure everything's ready. So we, we're gonna obviously employ cleaners to make it clean for the new people. I just want to talk to you about kind of time scale for buy to sell because it's something we don't always think about. Now, I will always tell you to work on a nine month time scale just in case, and that's really in case somebody falls out of bed, meaning they come away from the sale. But this one is just a complete stereotypical time scale for us. Uh, we bought it from auction and we bought it, we exchanged in the end of September, we completed in the end of October, and now we're going to be selling it and exchanging completing in mid May. So that is November. November, December, January, February, March, April, so six and a half months from buying to actually selling. So what takes the time? Well, often it's not us. So this was um, a one bed flat. It was an 18 grand refurb. So replaster, rewire, new kitchen, new bathroom, new carpets. So a kind of vanilla rewire it takes kind of six to eight weeks usually. Um, but that time wasn't it, Ash? So, you know, add in maybe a week to get the builder, add in eight weeks to do the renovation, maybe add in one extra week before you got the um, property back on the market. You're talking 10 weeks, which is kind of between two and three months. It then goes on the market. This one sold very quickly because we're in a very hot market at the moment. So we didn't actually had to add in any time for it really to sell. And then it's all about the buyer getting themselves organized. It can take, what, a couple of months, two to three months for the buyer to do all the contract work, do all the survey work, do all the searches, get their funding, get themselves organized, and then themselves be in a position to move in. And that is why this one's taken six and a half months, which is fairly typical. When you're doing your maths, if you're particularly if you're looking at funding and you've got cost of funding, you've got obviously the cost of the council tax, even though it is um, an empty property and you write for that discount, you've got the cost of the water rates, you've got low level cost gas electricity, you, you know, any month adds on additional cost. So I don't want you doing your maths on a six month basis. I want you doing your maths on a nine month basis. So what are we assuming there? This one didn't have a buyer falling out of bed. So this is a fairly stereotypical six and a half months turnaround from buying to sale. Subject, <laughs> touch wood, to actually exchanging completion next week. But what if you got to the point you're always about exchange and the buyer fell out of bed? You really got to add another two to three months for the next buyer to buy it, to agree it, to see it, to do the contract work, to get the funding and to move forward. Which is why I want you to do maths on a nine month scenario just for kind of worst case scenario. And that way, you're kind of absorbing a lot of the speed bumps that property gives you because property will whack you a whole bunch of speed bumps a whole bunch of times. And then you're kind of nicely surprised when the money comes in two and a half months early. See you soon. Bye.